Hey guys, um, we're super excited um, because today we are leaving to go to Orlando to record our first full length record and uh, we're just so overjoyed and uh, blessed and we just want to thank everyone that supported us up to this point. The greatest thing I've always seen to struggle with is my expectations with or setting my expectations where they really need to be set. I guess what I mean by that is I tend to always overshoot my expectations with sometimes where the Lord really wants my life to be or where He wants my life to be. I think it happens to a lot of us. And being a musician and have done music my entire life, it's always been one of those struggles where, especially early on before I really began growing my relationship with Christ, where you know I had just this desire to be a musician and to, to find success in that in that and that be uh, what you know my life was about. Cameron and I have been doing music since we were kids, uh, as far back as we can remember. We're brothers and so it was always something that was a connection for us growing up. Ever since we, you know, learned about certain instruments and started picking up different things, we we just fell in love with with music and what the what music has a capability of doing. And when we started to write songs when we were younger and see how we could express, you know, what we were going through uh, through song um, and how that affected other people in certain ways. From the moment that we started Seeker and Servant, the Lord really took a hold of it and did what He obviously did with it and, and, and completely overshot what I even thought would be with Seeker and Servant. I mean, just the conversations that we've had with people, not just in our neck of the woods, but from all around the, the United States and the world and uh, just the impact that the music that, that God has graced us with has had on individuals. And just to see the convictions that are worked out in the music through, through our own convictions translate in such a way that really has had that same impact on other people has really been an encouragement to my life. One of the, the, the main things that Seeker and Servant has really taught me um, since we started in 2012 is, is really what it kind of means to be a Seeker and, and to be a Servant. Of Jesus Christ um, we've learned a lot about ourselves um, about our shortcomings our, our faults but also um, just how we can use the gifts that the Lord has given us to serve others and allow that to be a tool for people to worship the Lord so we get to this point where you know what do we do next you know, we, we just released this Leaving Shadowland EP, and uh, we it's funny because even before we released Leaving Shadowland last year, we kind of had this rebrand of Seeker and Servant. We were kind of thinking, okay, we're entering another uh, yet another stage, but it's going to involve Seeker and Servant. And through that, we had conversations of starting a podcast, and uh, that was really out of this desire to go deeper with our listeners. Uh, because we can only communicate so much through a song. Secret and Servant's been going for seven years now. And last year, um, Cameron and I just kind of came to a point where we were trying to figure out where we were gonna go with Secret and Servant and if we were gonna actually continue it the way that we were. And we knew that music would always play some part in our life, um, but we didn't know if Secret and Servant was always going to be there and whether or not we should stop doing it. We do this podcast and we, we decide, you know, through conversation, the podcast is going to be what we do and we're going to, we're going to finally put an end to Seeker and Servant. And at first we felt pretty good about that. You know, we were able to do the podcast uh, pretty regularly, put out several, a good many episodes and uh, life continued to move on and then we get to this part you know, a few months down the road after kind of making that decision where, you know, the doubt starts to creep in. And it's hard because you have to balance that, especially when you're Christian, 
we can't rely on our emotions. You know, we have to go seek His Word. We have to seek Him for, for that direction, for His will, for our life. It's not, uh, we can't just be led completely by our emotion. That's not how it works. And so, uh, things just kept coming up. Uh, you know, being musicians, we always knew that even with the exiles, we weren't just going to stop playing music, but it wasn't going to be in the vein of Secret Servant. And so, it just got to the point to where um, we still just had things keep being laid on our hearts, and we, and Chandler and I, had these deep conversations over and over again. After thinking about it, praying about it, we decided to just go on a pause and just get off social media and to just not try and do anything for a little while and pray about it and seek the Lord and try to write some music and just just kind of you know feel around to see what where where we should go and with that we we decided let's do it let's let's gear back up and and try to start tracking some songs again I think the, the best way to go about it is to not look at Seeker and Servant as um, some kind of career path for us to not look at Seeker and Servant as even uh, something that's a guaranteed success as far as continuing in the future kind of having no expectation at all really but we do know that the Lord has been giving us music, has been grac grac uh, graciously giving us songs to write, and we want to write and, and record and, and, and um, put those out. And so where we are now with Seeker and Servant is just that. Um, we have decided to consolidate pretty much everything. Instead of using all these multiple outlets, we have kind of rebranded and started new. Uh, so we're doing SeekerAndServant.com uh, is the website and we've dropped Seeker and Servant Music because we truly want this to be a ministry outlet and obviously we still want to continue the We The Exiles podcast. And so it's not just music, it's the podcast as well and we want it to be a place of resource for everybody. So we've consolidated everything, everything instead of using all these different outlets to get our music out there, although we will still be using social, I mean, streaming services like Spotify for those who want to listen through there. Uh, SecretAndServant.com is where you can go and, and get all of our music for free, past catalog, future, as well as all the chord charts for everything we've done. Uh, you can go on there and download the chord charts and use it however you like, and then the stems. So every single part of the music that you hear, we've allowed you to, to take it and do what you want with it. Doing this can be difficult as it does take time and it does take money. Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of that over the years has strictly come from our pockets and from those who have supported us uh, in the past. And we want to make it a, an easy way for those who are consuming our, um, our content to support us. And so on the site as well, we will have an option for you to donate monthly or uh, just give a one-time donation. Uh, the monthly will be through Patreon, which we've been using for a little while now. And through that, we, we, we typically will ask for, you know, a $10, $10 a month donation. So if, if anyone's wanting to sew that way, that's a great way to do that. Or if you just feel like giving us a one-time donation, um, that's also greatly appreciated. And any and everything that is donated to Seeker and Servant goes into Seeker and Servant for us to continue to write, record, and produce music, and to, to put it out there for you for free. We can't thank you guys enough for all your support through the, the different ups and downs that we've had uh, as, as, as a band, um, as a podcast. And for all those who stuck with us through the seven years that we've been doing this, uh, we really appreciate it. We hope that you've been blessed and encouraged and even convicted through the music that we've been able to write. And we hope more than anything that Christ is exalted in everything that we do.